My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. You are welcome to episode number 61 of the 120 Days Jam Chemistry with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at methods and their compounds. In the previous episode, we concluded no methods and their compounds. And I trust you found that very, very helpful. What are methods? What are the compounds of methods? What are the characteristics, uses, and tests for these methods and their compounds? Methods are elements that are ionized by electron loss. Like I always say, and like I will keep saying, chemistry is the study of the composition, properties, and uses of matter. And this matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. Mass. Mass is the quantity of matter or amount of substance in a body. Mass does not change. Anywhere you take an object to, the mass will remain constant. However, depending on gravity, weight of objects varies. What is weight? Weight is mass times acceleration due to gravity. Example of matter, uh, matter is this marker. It has mass, it occupies space. This marker you are seeing, when you break it down, you cut it until you get to the smallest unit. The smallest unit of the smallest particle of this marker is referred to as atom, which are the composition of matter. Matter is composed of atoms. So atoms is the unit of matter, just the way cell is the unit of life, just the way seconds, milliseconds, nanoseconds are the unit of time. This contains billions and billions and billions and billions of atoms. Atoms cannot exist independently. So atoms have to combine to form molecules. Molecules or molecule or molecules are the form of matter that can exist independently, which is the smallest particle of a substance that can exist on its own and still retain all the properties of that substance. Then from atoms and molecules, we have what we call ion. Ions are atoms or group of atoms that possess charge. If I give you Na, this is sodium atom. This is also sodium molecule. Without charge, it is not an ion. By the time you have something like this, Na plus, this is an ion. Why plus and not minus? Plus because this guy donates electron. Whenever an element gives out electron, it forms positive ion. Remember, atom is something like this. It is made up of the nucleus. In the nucleus, you have proton plus neutron. Around the shell, you have electrons. They move around. Electrons are negative. Protons are positive. Neutrons do not have charge. So, when an element has less electron in the outermost shell, there is high chance that it will give out the electron. For example, group 1 elements, they have one electron in the outermost shell. Group 2, they have two electrons in the outermost shell. Group 3, they have three in the outermost shell. 
So all these guys can easily give out electrons. Unlike group seven, having seven electrons in the outermost shell, all those guys will likely accept electrons. So group one, two, and three elements are generally metals because they give out electrons to become positively charged. We can therefore say that metals are elements that are ionized by electron loss. So in losing electrons, they form their ion, and that is positive. This definition of meta is not enough. Do you know why I said so? If we say, okay, metas are elements that are ionized by electron loss, we are therefore saying that since this is hydrogen atom, it has one electron in the atomous shape. If this hydrogen gives out the electron, it becomes positively charged. So, hydrogen can ionize by electron loss. Can we therefore say that hydrogen? Is a metal? No. Hydrogen is not a metal for reasons. One, hydrogen in when hydrogen reacts with metals to form halide, the oxidation state of hydrogen becomes negative. And that is not even the issue. Hydrogen does not have the properties of metals. To make matter worse, hydrogen exists as a gas. So matters or metals are not gases. That takes us to the characteristics of metals. The first characteristic an element must come must have to be regarded as a metal is high boiling and melting point. It must boil or melt at a high temperature. It has it must have characteristic luster. Luster means shiny appearance. Metals generally are shiny. Metal must be malleable. You can beat it into a sheet, like aluminum roofing sheet, you can fold it, copper, you can bend copper wire, you can squeeze it, so that is malleable. Metals are ductile, ductility means ability of metals to be drawn into wire. Your copper wire for electricity, aluminum wire, all these guys, they are drawn into a uh, wire, so they can use to make wire drawn into sheets, all these are ductility. Metals should be sonorous when you hit a metal bah, bah, you should have a sound bah, bah, bah. that beat must be there metals must be hard yes hard then brittle they can break but they should be hard metals are good conductors of heat and electricity they allow electricity to pass through them easily because they have lower resistance and they allow heat to pass through them metals have have high density Density is mass over volume. And finally, metals are reducing agents. In a redox reaction, where oxidation and reduction are taking place simultaneously, metal is a reducing agent because it is the one that is oxidized. The one that is oxidized is the reducing agent. Ladies and gentlemen, with this, I have introduced metals and their compounds. In the next episode, we shall look at the activity series of meta then we proceed and proceed and proceed until we finish everything you are expected to know about metas and their compounds so just like no metas we shall not be answering questions or past questions under metas what you simply do is get your flash learners jam application use the youtube description below or visit flashlearners.com for various versions or Search Flash Lena Jam on Play Store or chat me up directly for installation links and activation. After every class, open the app, go to chemistry. There, are, there is a series for other subjects as well. Click on any subject of your choice. You go to the topic. You have option to choose topic and year. Under year, choose random. With that, only questions under the topic you select shall be displayed and everything works without the internet. So, as I'm teaching you, practice questions. And like I said, for non metas the reason I am not stressing myself to answer so much questions is that I drafted a lot of questions on that metas, about 100 questions from the Flash Learner Jam application. And I saw that it is everything in the class. So, after this, the class is, any, all the questions you see, that's exactly the way Jam said it. Just for you to look, okay, I was told this, and click. You just be good. 
to go. So this is a gentleman. See ya at the next episode.